simple linear regression with a binary predictor in SPSS. Linear regression is one of the statistical analysis that aims to find out if there is a relationship between two variables. One of the variable is an outcome or a response or a dependent variable and the other variable is the predictor or the exposure or it is the independent variable or an explanatory variable and when the predictor have two levels in it such as life dead male females then it is called binary predictor or dichotomous predictor here i have two variables the first one which is the sex which has two levels in it zero and one and if we click on the variable view the values for zero represent females and one males so the six variables is binary variables or dichotomous variable as variable as it has two levels in it or two categories the systolic blood pressure is a continuous variables and it is the outcome and to find out whether there is a difference in the systolic blood pressure between uh, males and females and whether the systolic blood pressure is higher or lower in males compared to females then the simple linear regression analysis will be performed let's look at the descriptive stat for these two variables by clicking on analyze then scroll down to descriptive statistics and then select explore reset this and move the systolic blood pressure into the dependent list and the sex into the factor list and in the statistics icon click on the descriptive as shown here click on continue in the plot uh, and take the stem take the histogram take normality plot test with test click on continue on options no changes and then click on ok a descriptive tables are generated as shown here the six there are two um, genders in the variable sex female and male there are 50 individuals in each group and if we look at the second table it's clearly shown here that the females mean is 135.7 and the male means is 147.6 so the systolic blood pressure the mean for systolic blood pressure for the females is lower than the systolic blood pressure for the males and the difference between these two means will be 11.9 so there is a difference and the males have a higher systolic blood pressure however in this uh, explanation i will not uh, discuss or describe the assumptions for performing simple linear regression and that will be left for another video to do simple linear analysis with a binary predictor click on analyze scroll down to regression then select linear in the new window here move the six to the independent variable and the systolic blood pressure into the dependent variable and on the statistics icon take for r squared change descriptive part and partial correlation collinearity diagnostic and case wise diagnostic click on continue in the icon for plot tick on it and then select and drag the standardized predictor and move it to the x-axis and the standardized residual into the y-axis 
tick on the histogram here, tick on the normality or normal probability plot, click on continue in the save icon, no selection uh, for any of the options here, click on continue for options, no changes, and then click on OK. An output is generated with several tables and diagrams. As shown in the first table here, the average mean for systolic blood pressure in general is 141.7. Now, as uh, shown previously that there is a difference in the, the mean between males and females, the second table here shows the correlation between systolic blood pressure and sex. And as shown here, the correlation is coefficient which is R is 0.31. The p-value is less than 0.05. So there is a correlation and significant correlation between systolic blood pressure and sex. If we move to the uh, table, which is the model of summary, shows that the R is 0.31, which is the Pearson correlation coefficient. And the R square is the square of the R. Though the value here is very low, which is nearly 0.1. What does this R squares mean? It means that 10% of the variation in the outcome can be explained by the six. Moving to the next table, which is ANOVA, shows that there is a significant value, p-value, as it is less than 0.0. Five. So the model has been generated and it is tested that the coefficient are not equal to zero. So there is a relationship between sex and systolic blood pressure. The next table shows the coefficient. Uh, the constant here is the intercept, which is 135.7 and the six is 11.9. And that value here, or this value here, represent the systolic blood pressure mean difference between males and females. And as we have seen that the mean for systolic blood pressure for males are higher than females. And there is a significant difference here. The next graph here shows the regression standardized residuals and shows that the dependent variable systolic blood pressure, the distribution with the mean. The next shows the um, PP plot, normal PP plot for standardized residuals as shown here. The circles or the dots should be aligned along the diagonal line. So this is the way to do simple linear regression with binary predictor in SPSS.